Oh, you did it. Oh, well, you're really tall. I got it. Okay, there we go. Ladies, okay. I put on nice shirts. I bought a collared shirt for the... Uh, did you shave, too? I shaved, too. Do you, are, do you, have, a, do you have a traffic ticket or like something crap. right now? Because <laughs> last week's show was a disaster. Was that the one with... No, no. That was maybe... Was that the one with... No. Yeah. <laughs> Tune that in, one. folks, whiskey to see show. the disaster. The whiskey, well, you know, it'll be known as the Whiskey Show. Tonight, um, ladies and gentlemen, yes. here on the Off the Debate Show, show number 919, a very special guest. Who, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to ask her because I'm not sure we can ask it anything, but we're going to give it a try. You, you, you try. You poked and prod and pushed. I didn't get anywhere. But, but she has. <laughs> Hold, watch out! Those are NFL. So those are NFL rules right there. Yeah, we can't show that. No. <laughs> that was like the gameplay for the Niners right she there. Has, <laughs> she has notes, ladies and gentlemen. Sidecopiati. Did I pronounce that correctly? Pretty close. Uh, okay, what did I do wrong? Coliati. Coliati. Is your G silent? Coliati. Is that Italian? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, that is. Where, where, whereabouts Classic in Italy are you? Uh, you uh, it's, my, it's my married name. I'm not Italian. Oh, you're not Italian? Where are you from? I'm Jewish. Last night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I didn't um, I ask you what religion you are. I know, but well. You must have heritage. really liked him. That's my heritage. So. Are we saying yeah. where you're from, like country wise? Like England oh. or? Yeah. I mean, my, my uh, ancestors are from Eastern Europe. Oh, they are? Lithuania? Poland, Russia. We could be, we could be, we could be related. How would that be? What are you? I'm Lithuanian. L- you are not. Red, 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 by the way, red, 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 I just found escaped, that out right now. Escaped the, uh, es- escaped the Germans. <laughs> gone. Lithuanian. Huh. No wonder you're so yeah. good at soccer. My, grand, my aunt, who's no longer here, she had the, the mark on here from the Jewish, from the concentration camps. Wow. And she escaped. I did not that's know that another, about you. That's for another show. We mm-hmm. didn't want to go down that route because it's not not. It's about the all. judge tonight. It's about the judge tonight. That we can't Happy talk about here. judge stuff. Who's judging? <laughs> it's great. So what these guys are referring to is that I cannot talk about any specific cases. No, so we know I've we been... can't. We know we know we 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 know we, you cannot talk about any case. Mm-hmm. In fact, the thing, truth of matters. We don't know of any cases that you have anyway. I have, I have no I idea what you are trying right now that's at not, all. Right. Yeah, so well, that's right, perfect. Mr. Mr. Smith, not, they're getting divorced. We don't know nothing. <laughs> well, I do have one case I want to talk about. Actually. Okay. Well, you do? We're yeah. getting somewhere. You Is want it? to go right into sure, it? Sure, I love are we, that. Can we talk? Are we going to get... Are we okay with that? Well, you'll, you'll understand why okay. in a minute. All right. High school mock trial. Oh, high school mock trial. The high school mock trial competition uh, in would... this county <clears throat> just concluded a few weeks ago, and... I became presiding judge this year, and so one of the things that I got to do as presiding judge was preside over the finals of the competition. So high school mock trial, if you guys don't know about it, it's incredible. All the high schools in the county have yeah. teams. Volunteer attorneys are putting in hours and hours to teach them about the law. They are spending months and months preparing this case, and um, they put just tons into it, and they compete in how many the actual kid, how, many, how many kids? There's The teams have about... 12 per side for prosecution and defense each night. So they have to have a pretty good number of, of students uh, participating. Do you, do you sit back and go, well, this one, this guy, oh, yes, this, she's going to be a star. Oh, absolutely. Right? No, right? These students are incredible. They're absolutely incredible. They've put in tons of work. Yeah. And they do these trials in, the, in a real courtroom in front yeah. of real judges. So we, we all preside over these competitions for weeks. And then I got to do the finals can, this year. Can we do, do we that? A, but do we have a winner? Well, so this is the story. Oh, okay. This <laughs> is the story. So I'm, I'm presiding. And these kids are so good. And I'm looking at the scores that the, we have attorneys who score it. I don't score it, I just preside. And these kids are objection, hearsay, may I respond? That's not offered for the truth. I mean, these kids know the law better than some real attorneys. They're so, so, so good. And I'm thinking, man, if I was a scoring attorney, I'd be giving them all nines and tens. Like, this is gonna be so incredibly close. Right. And I look down to the rules of what happens like if it's an actual tie. Sure enough. You have to decide? I have to decide. Whoa. And these are kids who've put, like I said, just hours and hours and months into it. So sure enough, you know, the end of it comes, everybody's clapping, it's wonderful, and the scores this is come the, out. This is done at the courthouse downtown. At the courthouse, okay. at night, late at night, it ends in a tie. 6.41 to 6.41. Wow. And oh my God, talk about a difficult decision. And of course, I make difficult decisions every single day. But yeah, but this, involve kids. This is, this is kids, a, kids. Breaking the hearts of kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah who yeah, worked yeah. so hard. So, I mean, I did can my job. Call, can you just call it a day and say it was a tie? I wish did I could. Did anybody cry? I think there were tears. <laughs> but this is the best part. 
they ended up both getting to go to the state championships. Wow. Oh, wow. It was, okay. Yeah. So, so it, everyone has a happy has it a, was a happy, happy ending. ending. Yes. Even though I had to declare one the winner at the time, it ended up there was an extra spot at states, and they both got to go. So Santa Cruz okay. County is going to be super well represented at okay. the high school mock trial. Well, congratulations. Yes. Yes. I do. Yes. And I love, I love that um, there's these uh, young, enthusiastic future lawyers that are good. Oh, yeah. You know, because we only hear kind of about bad lawyers, not good lawyers, kind of in our lives. <clears throat> and uh, that's awesome to hear you that these young folks. Um, so that's and, the one case I can talk about. Uh, okay. have, have, have you ever seen Neil in court? No, she didn't see me in court. I don't think so. <laughs> she but, court. You know, I do want to make... I was in jury duty. I was in jury duty. <laughs> okay, all right. Like, like, like last year. That's what I was going to say. And I wanted to make a plug for that jury as well duty? here. I I'm went in, down to my I went down to my service. I was sat in a room, fifty people sat in a room that, mm -hmm. off the tra one of those trailers. We got caught into the other thing, and I get picked. Mm. Well, to, well, so I, actually, you were sitting in the audience, and, and they the called judge. your name, he, and you the went. The judge out. was from out of town. He went out. He was a guest, visiting judge, visiting judge and he's like, mm -hmm. then he asked me a couple of times, you know, do you have anything to say? Blah 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 blah. Not, not, no, not, you know, I had nothing to say. But then lunchtime came. <laughs> It was an hour and a half Free lunch. lunch. Hour and a half lunch. I go, what are we doing for an hour and a half lunch? Can we get lunch? Subway, 15 minutes. Let's go get it done, right? Hour and a half. Well, the guy who was the defendant was walking back in front in front of my car the whole time. I was at lunch, right? I go, I know this guy. <laughs> uh, see you later. So He didn't do it. Come back from, come back from uh, lunch. Mm -hmm. Anybody here? The judge, nice man. I mean, any, anybody have an objection? I do. Hmm. So we get in, we had, all had to collaborate in the middle of the room, and they turned some kind of noise machine on, right? So you couldn't hear anything. And, and here's all the district attorneys, the defendant, and me. And I, I go, the judge goes, well, what's your problem, Mr. Prober, or something like that, right? I go, I know him. He go, I go, sir, he's a slime bucket. <laughs> That's what you quote said, quote, exactly, slime go, bucket? He... <laughs> was on a soccer team I played for, and he was always was always fiddling with all the girls in my soccer team. Oh man! Go, can, judge, can we talk about this? Is this, is this <laughs> off the record right I now? I wanted to make a plug for people to come and do their jury duty. <laughs> no, I mean, I just and thought, now you're just going to no, 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 no! I just knew the guy, and I go and the judge said, "Say no, see, home. see, see you later. See you in two years." Got uh, it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I've I've sat play. there, I've sat there, and was not called. I was excused, you know, and so I. I do think that it's a, a good thing for people to do. And if I, if they went, if I, if I was asked to go down again today, I'd go down and do it. Do the same thing. It wasn't that. It was. It was you doing. You felt like you're doing civic duty. So As, if you have a chance to do it, mm -hmm. you know, don't try and escape it. Just do it. As because, I tell my jurors, it's one of the more important and interesting things you'll do in your lifetime. I mean, it truly yeah. is. Mm -hmm. When we get a jury, you know, they dig in and roll up their sleeves and work and they have to figure out what the facts are of the case and apply the law as I instructed to them and it's a really incredible experience. Mm. I know it's, you know, inconvenient for people but it absolutely is a civic duty and, you know, it's a right that's guaranteed by our constitution so if people don't come and do it, you know, you're, you're, can you volunteer to do right. it? So, can you be like, can you show up and be like, high five? I want to do it. So I'm glad you asked. That's another point <laughs> mm -hmm. I wanted to make. We do, you can't just volunteer for regular jury duty, but we have something called the civil grand jury and you can volunteer for that. The civil grand jury is um, a body of uh, 30 citizens who come in for a year and for, it's basically a part-time job, but you, mm -hmm. they get together and they investigate any government agency that they want to, and it's all totally confidential. And at the end of their term, they issue a number of reports on whatever agencies they've right. investigated and look into. They yeah. look at things like a fire district, or um, they have an obligation to look at the jail every year. They look at um, voter initiatives and whether the will of the voters was carried out, things like that. They look at our fire um, prevention efforts and all sorts of things. Okay. So if you're really wanting to do some grand civic jury. duty, come down in, apply for your uh, civil grand jury. I think applications wow. are open now. Okay. The term is July through July, and okay. you can go online. You can read all the past. Is there a background check for that? Grand jury reports. Oh, yeah, but you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just asking because, I mean, you, some unruly people could maybe be in there thinking unruly things. There's there's a process for selection. Process. Okay, gotcha. I yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah, process for selection. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't just go in there you, and mess you, it up. You left college, right? Which, which college did you go to? Did you, did you UC Santa Cruz. UC Woo! Santa Cruz. And did you want to be? A, did you want to be an attorney? You became an attorney. Yeah. Right. 
And then when did you when did you decide that you want to become a, a judge? So I worked for many years at the Court of Appeal in San Jose okay. for the first woman to be a justice on the Court of Appeals there. And she was my, uh, yeah, she was amazing. Oh, amazing. And she, um, she was just an incredibly inspiring person. And as I worked for her for years and reviewed the decisions by trial court judges, um, it just became something I wanted to do to uh, how, what is a pro What does the process become from become an attorney? What's the process to be, to become a judge? You have to have been an attorney for at least 10 years. Okay. And then you either get appointed by the governor or you get elected as I was. You were elect, you elected. Right. And can you choose which, can you choose that you want to stay in Santa Cruz or like the CHP officers where they get stuck in six months, they got to go ride bikes in, in Oakland or whatever. Did you, were you able to come? You get a, no, it's a specific to this county. Okay. Yeah. And you're here out. until yeah. how long are so you So we actually judge? have six year terms. Mm -hmm. Even if you get appointed, you are filling a term and every six years <clears> you have to get back on the ballot or if nobody runs against you, you don't get back on the ballot. You pay your fees and, mm. and do all that but yeah. we, like this year myself and three other people were at, at the end of our term so if anybody had run against us we would have appeared on the ballot that okay. was just so last you, week you're off and running for another six years got another six years all right congratulations thank you how do you feel about that i'm very excited Can you, now yeah. when do you get a chance to surf are you the so, only surfing judge? She's a surfing judge. Currently in Santa Cruz? I was so. I oh, You're you the only what? surfing judge you know in what? Santa Cruz. Hang on a second. I saw, you know Renee Schlepper from Twin Lakes Church? Oh, yeah. You know Pastor yes. Renee? So I passed. He goes, who's your guest? He goes, who's your guest? And I go, right? I go, Superior Court, a surfing Superior Court judge. He barrels out laughing. He goes, only in Santa Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are other surfing judges throughout the state. Mm -hmm. But, but it's currently in, in, Santa Santa Cruz. Cruz. in Santa Cruz. Can we have a surfing, yeah. con like a sur surfing judge contest? Or maybe a surfing day where we take the judges out and put them in wetsuits and we like have them a, an ocean day. Would they, would they do that? Um, you know, a, couple, a bunch maybe? of them actually went out on the ocean fishing. We have one of our judges, a very, very avid sports fisher, hmm. and, and he took... Um, about five or six other judges out, so they've been on the ocean. Wow, okay. About, about so, hey, maybe we should organize a, a fishing trip before I sell my boat. I have a beautiful fishing are you, boat. Are you, Just saying. Uh, oh, but uh, no, off the record, we no, won't you do, can't that. do that. We won't do that. So you, you surf on weekends only? Um, or early in the morning. Are you early in the morning? Yeah. Uh, have you ever burned Hillary Bryant surfing? Let me ask you that that's question. That's a great question. Have you burn, have you, that's a great have question. You, have you burned Hillary? I do not believe so. <laughs> I would hope not. I don't try not to burn anybody, but certainly not Hillary. She knows she's watching too. <laughs> she is watching for sure. <laughs> Hillary is an she's, awesome water she's, woman. She's, Let me just, I mean, really. She's, she's a way hog. <laughs> Neil, have you ever been she's burned a, by Hillary? So much. She's a wing. First of all, she won't let me surf over there. I need a passport to go from the oh, east side to the west side. Oh, you do, yeah, Not actually. Loud. No, you're kicked out. No, no, no. <laughs> she's a wing. God, God bless her. Love it to death. Mm. Wave hog. I love surfing with Hillary. All the, any of the women, any of the women out there I love surfing with. Anyway, and too, you know but. what, though? Right now, as you know, there is a boom in girls in surfing right now. And it is so well, awesome. Well, that women in weights surf contest was packed. It full. grows all Another the time. Another thing I wanted to talk Which about. You... I got to be an actual surf contest judge. It was like fulfilling my That's absolute the... dream. Hold it. To so... combine my two passions. That's the legit surfing. judge right there. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do? Did you, have, did you bring the... What? How'd you do? You bring the cape? Did you bring the gavel? <laughs> <laughs> so, is that a cape? What is so that you wear? Hang on, hold it. <laughs> Number one. Is this show going out the window? It's a robe. It's oh, a robe. A cape. It should be a cape. Should, You're the fifth the, woman like in history in Santa Cruz to be a judge, right? Uh, is that true? The uh, fifth? I believe, I believe sev, sixth or seventh. Okay, you need a cape for and sure. You can ask back as a judge. I'm going to give you the white wig that they wear. I have yeah. one of those. Rochelle Narayan gave me one, and I wear it every Halloween. <laughs> is that your costume? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. But I'm glad you brought up the gavel because it brings up two other things I want to talk about that are in my notes. Um, Hang on. So, we might not be able to talk about There's this. Notes right there. <laughs> oh, you're reading those right now? You can we talk about this? I got you. I got we you. Have our own, we have rules. So, <laughs> yeah, you can talk about that. Another really cool program that we do I talked about the high school mock yeah. trial kids. We also do a program called Cookie Court. Cookie, Cookie Court? Court is with fifth graders. Oh. And the fifth graders come into the real courtroom yeah. and they act out a scripted mock trial. They have a judge, they have a DA, they have a defense attorney, witnesses, jurors, 
Everything. Are these kids from all over the county? All over the county, okay. all the schools. Again, we have, I mean, our legal community is incredible because we have volunteer attorneys coaching the high school mock trial, scoring the high school mock trial, and then going into elementary schools and teaching fifth graders about the law and bringing them into the courtroom and doing a mock trial with them. It's really cool. We have, we've been having them, this is the time of year we have them, and we had one last week. So the fifth graders, the first thing they ask about is the gavel. Hmm. So I have to tell them, we don't have gavels. You Close your mind, right? You don't have a, you don't gavel? Have a gavel? We don't have gavels. I mean, we have decorative ones mm -hmm. sometimes. None of the, we don't use gavels in the courtroom. Court is adjourned. It's all your voice. The kids were absolutely so disappointed. Really? So fifth graders That's thought you. there was gavels. It's so ingrained in us. Mm -hmm. You're That's in a contempt wild. of court. Yeah, yeah. Right? I just think it's a... I have seen videos of uh, defendants lunging at you. I'd want a gavel. And be like, gavel back up, sucker. <laughs> the best, best cop show movie you, you have, that you you like to watch is... You mean Judge? Yeah, some of the, for the residing judge. My cousin Vinny. Oh, yes. That's great. a great show. <laughs> That's a great is judge, show. Is Judge Judy, <laughs> is, you ever watch no, Judge Judy? I don't watch My cousin Judge. Vinny it's, was okay. the best. Well, Cousin Vinny's a great, great one. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's the best movie. Is that? Yeah. Do you ever watch court TV or any of that type of stuff? No. Do you like, no. Or uh, any of the trials that are on okay. TV? This you, is what you, I tell my kids because my, my the youths, the youths. Youths. <laughs> what do you think? He's still on my cousin Vinny. So, so my daughter, uh, she brings me some TikTok one day. She goes, "Look at this judge. You know, this is so funny. Look at this thing." And I go, I "Watch it." I'm like, what happens in my actual courtroom is a thousand times more entertaining than this thing that you think is so funny. Really? So wow. Every day in court is yeah. super interesting. I don't need to watch any court TV. Read up. There you go. Oh, okay, we're out. Was it working? No, it's, oh, yeah, absolutely. We're totally right. Uh But still, the kids that are fifth grade, they have this intuition already. You recognize that they have like a legal brain at that at that age? Oh, I'm not sure I'd go that far. Okay, so the, <laughs> so the high schoolers are impressive. No, no, do it. The fifth graders are a little cute. loose. The fifth graders are cute. They're okay. adorable. Absolutely adorable. Yeah. Okay, and then you don't watch TV with law stuff. No. Not really. Okay. It's good because it's baloney? Is it? It's fair, well, usually pretty unrealistic. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's Hollywood. No, it's paid for TV. I, I actually, I was in a reality TV show. It's not even near being reality. There it was go. a pet what show. What reality TV show were you in? I was in a house cat house call on, on the pet <laughs> channel. And, uh, <laughs> So, that's a true story. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Say that. House cat, house call. <laughs> it was this Australian actress, and they came to our house. They spent a fortune. And How come I didn't so, know about that? Oh, we also had cover the Mercury and the Sentinel. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. What was wrong with your cat? They made it up. It's not real. Your cat they were, wasn't they were sick looking at all? for somebody who owned a skateboard shop with cats. <clears throat> And they happened to call Santa Cruz Skateboards, and they're like, oh, we got the guy. He has two spotted cats. <laughs> My wife's a cat, crazy cat lady. And so they made a problem that one of our cats didn't like the other cat. It was totally fake. It didn't like humans. At nighttime, time. they turned our house into daytime. You know, like it was, uh, it made us look like my wife and my kids were on the couch. There was 30 people watching us. <laughs> and, uh, and we couldn't say bad cat because there was a cat food company that sponsored the show, and there's no bad cats. And that's what I learned about fake TV. Oh, my God. Yeah. So your deal, you are a reality every day. Every day. Can um, I tell you one other thing? Yes. Besides yeah. the gavel, that is a, something that will probably be a surprise to you and hopefully the viewers. Did you know that judges are on call? Really? So, to what? So we, um, one, for a whole week at a time, we're on call. That means after we're done with our huge busy day from 8 to 5 in the courtroom, we're on call from 5 p.m. to 8 o'clock the next morning. Emergency cases for a for wedding what? or something? Emergency wedding? What's going on? <laughs> what do you think? So this is something I ask the kids. What do you think that we would be on call for? I'm calling an emergency wedding. No, so we get calls for emergency protective orders. So if someone has committed domestic violence um, and the victim wants a protective order right I away. I got one. I got one. Search warrant. Search warrants, absolutely. Oh, yeah. We get search warrants. We um, often get blood draw warrants. So if someone's been arrested for DUI and, and, and they're not consenting it. to the breath or blood test, they call a judge to get a warrant to go in and bring them to the hospital and take their blood. We get calls for um, what's called bail jacks, bail increases. Hmm. So if there's someone the police are bringing to jail and they're afraid that they uh, pose a real serious danger if they bail out. Right. Can so so I can imagine like getting a little intimate and all of a sudden, bzz, 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 and you're like, oh, not now. 
<laughs> right? <laughs> Judge? <laughs> All night long. We can get calls all night long. <laughs> all night long. But, My yeah. wife would hate that. I just, I, you're so brave. I hope you get paid a lot of money. I'm just saying. <laughs> you're a, that's amazing. Yeah, we get, we get, uh, we're very busy. We work really, really, really hard. So, I mean, the notes I brought were about all my colleagues, too, because I didn't want to just talk about you me. Wanna talk Neil, about hey, Neil, 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 by the way, yeah. is she either surf today or she's blushing right now? <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get to surf today. It was a little too dark this morning. So, can I talk about some of my colleagues yeah. and the awesome yeah. things yeah. they do? Yeah. Okay. Stop, I so, let me start with Judge Guy because she's been, um, well, actually, let me let me back up. Judge Volkman is about to retire. He is, um, my predecessor is presiding judge. He's got a couple more weeks on the bench, and he is um, going to go off into the world of uh, mediations and arbitrations and retire from a very illustrious career as judge. And he's still in it, though. He's still in it for a right. few more weeks. But he'll be leaving us, which gives us our first opening in a little while. And he's just um, someone that everybody looks up to. I mean, he's just like the judge's judge. We're going to really, really, really miss mm. him. He's incredible. Does he have a phone a friend? Like, I, you... I hope so. I'm going to need him. I'm going to need him, yes, because I'm going to move into his assignment, doing the civil assignment mm, soon. So I'm okay. going to need him, yeah. Then I was talking about Judge Guy. So she's been our longest-serving judge. She's been on the bench since 2006. She was the second woman ever, uh, sorry, third woman ever on our bench. And um, she does so much. She teaches around the state. She teaches new judges. She teaches supervising judges. She's been in almost every assignment. She's done juvenile dependency, juvenile delinquency. She's um, currently one of our felony judges. She is like an incredibly hard worker and just absolute inspiration. Um, she serves on you know, other statewide committees for child welfare and things like that. She's a mentor judge to one of our newer judges. Um, going down in terms of our, uh, uh, who's been there the longest, Judge Siegel, is the next one. He's actually off on vacation right now, okay. and um, but he's just such an incredible resource for the rest of us. He's, um, I think, one of the oldest age-wise, and he's been on the bench so long and done criminal law for so long that he's just the person that we go to, you know, to just get any kind of gut check on something. And he's just so kind. He comes in to everybody's office every morning, checks in with them, and um, just really a wonderful, wonderful person. Wow. And um, then we have Judge Schmall, I believe, is the next in terms of seniority, and he'll be my partner in, when I move to the civil assignment. I've been in criminal. You're a partner? You need, what do you need a partner for? Yeah, so the way, so let me back up. And we have 12 judges, and we have two judges doing the civil trials and civil cases, Two judges doing family law cases. And civil is when you're suing. Suing somebody else. Right, right. Exactly. Somebody else for money or mm -hmm. something like that. Right. Uh, we have two juvenile judges. One does juvenile justice, which is like what we used to call juvenile delinquency. One does juvenile uh, dependency, which is the child abuse and neglect cases. And then all the other judges are in criminal. We have three felony judges, two misdemeanor judges, and one judge who does a combination of felony and misdemeanor, but it's all domestic violence related cases. So... Hmm. Yeah, so Judge Schmall does a bunch of stuff also um, with the California Judges Association, our statewide organization. He's on several committees, and uh, like I said, he'll be my judicial partner when okay. I move to civil. He was my first judicial partner when we were both in misdemeanors long ago. We were, uh, he was appointed in 2018, just before I was elected. We almost ran against each other, didn't quite, um, as he got appointed. Um, and he is also on our appellate division, which is something that I really like, having been an appellate court attorney for so long. And so we actually hear appeals within our own court from our misdemeanor and traffic cases. So he does that with me okay. and a couple other judges. Um, so I think, let's How see. many on the team? Have you got a basketball Twelve. team here? Twelve together, right? So how we many? have a couple of basketball players, actually. How many do we have on the team? There's 12. 12. 12. 12. And is, then we is, have, is that enough? Mm. I mean, is, is it busier? It's busy. The busier than ever? Uh, right now, it's really busy. We have a lot of jury trials going out, and a lot, and because we have so many new judges who I haven't even gotten to yet, when you become a new judge, you have to do a lot of training, and it's weeks long, and it's you know out of town in San Francisco or other places. So you have to go to a week of new judge orientation, two weeks of judicial college, and a week for whatever your assignment is to go to a primary. Assignment the question I have for you is, I almost look at you as you're in the military. Because am I not wrong that you are so intelligent and have so much experience, you can make a heck of a lot more money doing being a lawyer? 
This is a public service. Yeah. We are yeah. all in it because it's a public service. That's exactly. what you want to do. So you're, that's you, you prefer that. All of us are in it for that exact yeah. reason. It's an absolute public service. So when you retire is when you make the big bucks? Or She's, before. If you, if but, you were or you oh, before, yeah, during your before. first 10 years sure. as you do you that. surf a lot, TC. Yeah. Well, because, well, the the, so here's the deal. When you surf and you're on a call, how's that work? Oh, yeah, you don't. You don't? You don't. No. no. There's, there's a lot so of time. So there's a waterproof it, pager. How? Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Where do you guys go for the judges' Christmas party? Um, we haven't had one just for the judges. We have an all-staff holiday party, and the judges actually pay to take our entire court staff, which is like 120 people, yeah. um, out to lunch. We've done it yeah. a couple different places. Well, and just we talking to you earlier, you said how sensitive um, the, the financials of your life are. Where you just can't be have you, there's no gifts. And, we can't take yeah, gifts. Yeah, there's no... Yeah. Uh, you know, election donations that are crazy it has to all be on the up and up. Right. Well, we could, I mean, when I ran for election, I could take donations. You can do that. But it's all but, a, an open public yeah. knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, That's but amazing. there's a lot of other ethical things that come into play, especially with the elections. Like, I can't endorse anybody else. They could all endorse me, but mm -hmm. I can't endorse them. In your life, have, has there, have you ever heard of a story of a white envelope sliding across the desk? The white envelope. The white envelope full of cash. Like, it's, it's, is that only no, a movie? No, not. That's only a movie. Yeah. <laughs> so, you never, like, any <laughs> other judge Laura or Lee nobody? Just, Laura Lee just fell over. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a crazy question. But, I mean, there's we, corruption in corruption. We uh, take our ethics so seriously. I mean, I can't even tell you. Every single day, we're in each other's offices talking about the ethics of this issue, that issue, you know, recusing from cases when we need to. We have to hear cases that we're not recused from. I mean, it's... I vote, you for, you. I vote for you for the Supreme Court right now. Thank you. <laughs> I do. <laughs> See that movie, Judge Thorogood Marshall. That was a good, I just watched a good movie on him. Thorogood Marshall was yeah. really good. Um, Can we talk about surfing? Midtown Block Party. I want to talk about surfing. Midtown then. Block Party last year. Surfing. Hang on. I want to hear surfing. Midtown Block Party last year. Yeah. There was a cop there, right? Uh -huh. Just sitting there, just checking everything out. I went and talked to him for a little bit. And we ended up talking about homeless situation here in Santa Cruz. And he goes, Neil, if, we didn't have, if there was not a homeless situation here in Santa Cruz, we may, we may arrest one or two people a month here in this town. It would be, be like a sleepy village town. But sadly, because we have the homeless situation, that, that a lot of people get arrested, at, which are the same people over and over and over again. That's what, that's what they're fighting. You're not going to get me to comment on that. can't talk about that. But I'll tell you one thing, MerrimMugShots.com. I used to love that. I would literally check that before my Facebook because all my friends or neighbors or something. I've lived here a long time. But you'd see people who have like 50 mug shots. And I've said this. I'm going I'm to be the judge for a second. I've no. said that I think your life should be based on how many mug shots you get. <laughs> Not how you get off or how much money you have. As you collect mug shots, then you get in trouble. Mug and judge, we will talk about surfing next. All right. Well, I want to finish a couple of, just oh, brag about oh, some oh, more of my Hang comments. on, absolutely. I didn't get through them. Sorry, apologize for that. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, okay, step so after you. me, the next judge, I think, on our bench was Judge De La Pena. Um, and she is one of those people who, again, has the most incredible, like, gut as far as what's, what's fair and what's right. These are all in Santa Cruz County. This is all, all Santa Cruz County, yeah. Okay. She is, like, my go-to person whenever I have a question about um, anything. She's also on our appellate division. She's in charge of our Judicial Mentorship Committee at our court. We're trying to get a diverse pool of people to become judges and to think about you know, moving towards that in their career. So she's in charge of that, and she is our current supervisor of all the criminal she's judges. She's a salesperson. She's, not doing, that, doing, she's, sales. she's doing sales. She's, she's, she's just, selling judgeships. No, no, no. She's just trying to you know, make sure that yeah. people who are smart and yeah. are qualified yeah. um, know that you know, there's a way to make it to the bench. Okay. I love that, though. Yeah, it's, it's really a, cool. It's, it's like a recruiter, too, in a way. Yeah, you know, like she's there. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Recruited was the word looking for. Yeah. Oh, and I skipped Judge Connolly. She's actually one of our other longest-serving judges. She's okay. in the family law division right now, and she's just begun to be able to teach new judges statewide. She's super excited about that. And you may not know this, but we actually have a courthouse down in Watsonville. Yeah, I was going to ask you okay. about that. Yeah. And she's our supervising judge of that whole and courthouse. Do you have to be bilingual? Of course. To work we here? we um no we no. we have to speak English um, okay. in court, but we have a lot of court interpreters. We have okay. Spanish, and then if we need for other languages, yep. we make sure that we either have a live or at least on Kay. Zoom or something, an interpreter for everybody's language needs. Uh -oh. we, um, no, well, we have a question from, a, uh, oh. from Gina. She said, uh, what inspired the judge? 
to practice law, and what inspires her to show up every day? <laughs> That's a big question. Mm -hmm. um, I got inspired to practice law back when I was in college, and I wanted to do environmental law. Didn't end up really doing much in my career, but that's what sent me to law school initially. Um, and it was partly because when I was in law school and I did an, an internship with the California Supreme Court that I realized how much I really love working in the court and doing the public service of working inside the court. And as far as every day, I mean, part of it is just um, how incredibly important it is. And like I said, it's such a public service and somebody has to make these hard decisions and they're not always easy decisions. They're not always popular decisions. Um, but how, how do you make those decisions? Do, do you sit in a corner by yourself, or take a walk around the block, or how do you? How do you? What's the? What's your method of taking care of the difficult decisions? I mean, it depends. A lot of it's legal research. We have to follow the law. So yeah. if there's, you know, some law that's exactly on point, then we have to figure out what it is and yeah. make the decision that's in conformance with the law. And you know, but yeah, a lot of thinking. Have you ever disagreed with the law? Like, is it, oh, that's not a good law. If you ever disagree with what's written, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to answer that question. Come on, dude. You know, I knew that. You and me, I got to dump you. I'm like Dan Rather, man. I'm like Dan Rather. I'm, put some, I'm just pushing and prodding a little bit. You're funny. Yeah, exactly. I'm sworn to support and uphold the law. Okay. Uh, is there anybody else that you yeah. want to mention? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well our, newest, our newest judges. So in... Just a little over, about uh, last year and a half, we've had four new judges, which is one third of our wow. bench, which is a, a really big, big, big change. Hmm. Um, so we'll start with Judge Scheinbaum, who's our uh, sports fisherman that I was talking mm -hmm. about earlier. And he's done family law in Watsonville as well. And he's also on our pellet division and he's on our technology committee. So he's working hmm. super hard. Um, then we had, after him was Judge Hansen. She is in a misdemeanor assignment. She had a special assignment on our appellate division also. She's our supervising judge for that civil grand jury that I was telling everybody to come mm -hmm. down and apply for. Mm -hmm. Then um, after her, we got Judge Sayar, who's um, going to be moving to the domestic violence assignment in a week or two. And she is um, the judge who's currently in charge of our prevention of bias committee, which is a committee I started a couple of years ago to make sure that everything happening in our whole legal community, but specifically in our court, um, that we have a lot of education around different types of bias. So we've put on programs for our court community, and now she's in charge of the committee that does that. Um, and then our brand newest judge is Judge Ziegenhorn, Erica Ziegenhorn. She was a DA, and she's now our juvenile dependency judge. She's also in Watsonville. Um, so I think I've covered everybody so now. Three, Let me check my three notes. Are the 12 are women right now? Is that right? There's more than that. Is that it? Four? Oh, I, I, did, I messed one. Uh -uh. There are seven women judges now. We Holy have Holy mackerel, a, girls club. A majority girls of that. women, yep. I mean, <laughs> but you can see where it, it wasn't that way just a year ago. Well, you, because we got three women appointed in the last the year. You're the sixth, you said, maybe? Or sixth seven? or seventh. So this all happened <clears throat> pretty recently. Pretty recently. Yep. What a great shift for America. Yeah, it's very cool. That is so yeah, yes. pretty cool. Yeah. So the last judge I want to mention is okay. Judge Vin Lewin. As I said earlier, I'm the presiding judge. He's my assistant presiding judge, so he's my real partner in terms of court administration. He's the basketball player. Mm -hmm. um, he's also in the juvenile justice assignment. That's the juvenile delinquency. He does a million other things too. He takes on any assignment. That any of the judges has have got, have got a lot of balls in the air. A lot. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he does a lot. He's also um, the presiding judge of the whole juvenile division. So, yeah, so we all do a ton of things. We have to be flexible because we're kind of a small court and cover for each other as much Some as we can. Some of these cases take a long time, too. I mean, we, I, should I say that we're blessed we haven't had, like, some giant case lately? Has there been, like, a giant case? There probably has been a giant case. No, but, I mean, it seems like um, there's no, like, craziness going on. There's a lot of... The same stuff. You know, I tell people a lot that it's the cases you don't hear about sometimes that are actually um, really, really serious and impactful, but just because the media doesn't cover it doesn't mean mm -hmm. they don't, they're not there. So yeah. I'll mm -hmm. just leave it at that. It's, with, it, that's an interesting with, point because as a citizen of Santa Cruz, I often, I mean, recently the, our local police departments are getting more on social media. And more, it's more to pat right. themselves on the back. But we really don't have much of an avenue to see what's really going on. Come down to court. It's a public open courtroom. Yeah, but Is it a day? Anybody can come in. Because I saw like sometimes on the big cases there's like raffles and stuff to get in there. Is it no. first, first, first in line? 
We don't have raffles. Raffles? <laughs> no. We, we don't shut anybody <laughs> out. In fact, I, I mean, I had to... But they don't have newspapers anymore. Newspapers are almost dead, right? You can send them every day. It's two know, bucks. I get it. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's it's, papers. It's, yeah. But, I mean, the one time I had an overflow courtroom, um, I have to say, my, our court staff came together and in about three minutes flat, opened up a second courtroom and streamed the proceedings remotely into the other courtroom. So mm. we will make room. If you want to come down, I went down. Watch. I went to uh, I, so I was curious, and I went and watched. And uh, a friend of mine, he's a sheriff. He was like the uh, court bailiff. Uh, like bailiff. He fell asleep. <laughs> I swear it's a true story, Judge. <laughs> I looked over, and I was like, "Oh my God, he's sound asleep right now." It was a very mellow day. Nobody jumped the bench. I don't you know? believe you. Our no, bailiffs was... are awesome. See that? Bailiffs... But you know what? There is a there, there was a bailiff at the time that rode a skateboard, and that's all I'll say. Dun, 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 dun. Is Laura, are you coming on the show? Laura, are you coming on the show? No. Oh, um, <laughs> she's so scared. <laughs> I, I think you should ask her about her dog in the frisbee contest. Okay. Okay, hold that. Yeah, we can hold everything. Her dog's and nuts. Like that. Right? Her, dog's nuts. Her, dog's nuts. her dog's nuts. Her dog is nuts. And your dog is, the same, is from the same litter? Yes. And what kind of dog? They're border collies. Oh, they're crazy. They're no, they cut. They're like yeah. super smart. They heard you? They heard everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to actually train it to hurt our new cat. Oh, that's so that, amazing. Yeah, so that it will like, train, so keep the cat in the backyard. Is this, yeah. was, this, was that her idea that you should get the, this, this new dog? Or was it? No, we got them separately. Oh, you did them yeah, separately? Yeah, and then someone... They just had to be the same model. I was telling somebody, oh, I've got this dog, and I was explaining, and they go, that sounds a lot like Laura Lee's dog. And then we were like, oh, our dogs, so we found out they were our sister. Oh, oh. I've always wanted to question Laura and go, you know, she's kind of quiet, mellow, right, and peaceful, and right? And she's got a nutcase dog, right? <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm going to go get him. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, just, uh, but they get wild. They're wild young they're and not mellow, really wild. mellow old. Oh, they get... They're really good dogs. I mean, she and I have both been going, taking our dogs to training mm -hmm. every week for three years. I mean, wow. we, okay. the dogs are good dogs. Can we play talk dead, about the rail trail? Can we, we talk about dead. the rail trail at all? No, no, no rail trail. No rail no. trail. They don't play dead, but my dog can actually go backwards upstairs. Oh, backwards upstairs? No, that's amazing. Very cool. Because you thought the dog on a surfboard, you another dog went upstairs. Oh, yeah. No, I've taken her out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's I'm, I'm, I'm no Steve Drotter, but... Oh, yeah, Steve's so into it. <laughs> He's awesome. No, yeah. She's no Rosie, I should say. My dog's no Rosie, but... Oh, Rosie's viral now. Rosie's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. Hmm. Goals. So, can we get to your surfboards? Yeah. What's your go-to surfboard? Okay, so, yeah. So, yeah. I thought about this one, too, because I can't, like, endorse things. And so, I'm not going to say, like, who my shapers are, mm, but okay. they are all local. You can't say who your shapers are? We can't really, like, endorse things as judge. I can't leave... I can't leave a Yelp review. Like we have but really it's a, strict it's a, a local, local shaper. shaper. How old is Can you have a, how about this? Yeah. How about the initials? <laughs> how old? How old? <laughs> like I said, how old? Is the, the person? Yeah. How old is initials. <laughs> Can we do initials? No. <laughs> no. Um, but my my uh, my summer boards uh, five eleven and my winter boards a six four. Hey, Short okay. border. Boom. Shaka laka. Yeah. You hear that? The judge is a surfer. Who, I'm not sure. Who do you think? Who, is he, who do you think shapes the boards? <laughs> God. I got, uh, I'm going. Okay. I'm going. Here we go. I'm going right here. Right. I'm going right off the bat. Ward Coffee. That's what I was going to oh, say. <laughs> that was what I was going to say too. Same Ward Coffee. I was say over. For sure, it's got to be a Ward. <laughs> okay, we don't have to say it's Ward. Congratulations, Ward. <laughs> She's totally going to drop that traffic ticket. We've got a couple different shapers in our cover. Okay. Let's just say that. Neil a couple different ones. Again. All right. No, I'm... <laughs> okay. Um, and um, you, so you like surfing the lane? Yeah. You're, and. Um, and have, do, have people like when you get a paddle battle? They're like, oh, do they know you out there? I hope not. Yeah. I, I mean, I, surfing is just my escape, and so I don't advertise what I do. I gave there. Joe Clark a couple ways, you know, because you know, he's a surfing sheriff, current council member out there. Um, I think Andy Daly does pretty good out there. People pretty much just like, ooh, yeah. 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 Can, I mean, we, I can we talk about Westcliff? Sure. Nate Neil. Didn't you just get a traffic ticket on your windshield the other day too? No, that was my that was that Chris Anagawa, the CHP officer. You know Chris? Gave me a damn he does it every year. Finds my damn car and gives me a ticket. Happy birthday, Neil. But imagine if from the my, judge from slides her business card on your windshield after you burned her out in the water and there's like a judge business card on your car. You just get out of the water and be like, All right, I'm gonna go serve What, what are we doing with the Westcliff? What do you think is gonna be the future of uh, 
Westcliff, as far as... Oh, I'm not going to get involved in that. No, okay. no, no. That's what, I thought you were going to talk about the rocks falling in at the lane. Okay, the rocks falling oh, in the lane. How do you feel about the rocks? Is the rocks falling in the lane going to be... <laughs> get it, gonna get it, is it going to change your wave? Oh, absolutely. Okay. It's kind of terrifying now. I think they yeah. can put a sign on it, like, keep it back. Because when it falls, it literally could really hurt someone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've watched those videos of, mm-hmm. of the, the chunks falling in. and The current yeah, crash is enormous. Yeah. It's big. Have you seen that, Neil? The yeah, current crash? I've seen it, yeah. Can't, you know, it's Mother Nature. Don't, well, I you know what, honestly, I can nature. just see some kids out there with a giant crowbar just being like, let's get this thing up. And the judge is seeing them like that. I, I just don't think it's possible. But yeah, I mean, it just changed the whole thing. I mean, yeah. there's no more high tide, you know, bounce right mm-hmm. off the cliff kind of thing. So. Yeah, it's really but interesting. That's what they Has say. The only thing the... that's constant is change. So, gotta just, live with it. Yeah, you gotta live with it. Has this been one of the worst shows you've been on since you've <laughs> since you've become a judge? <laughs> would you recommend coming? Would you recommend to your other other, other partners to you guys should come on there? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> or do you think we'll see any of these people on the show at some time in the near future? There may be. Okay. There we just need the recruiter game. on our side. Well, right here. Yeah. Right here. Oh, my handler. So, well, after my question handler. about the being you know on, on call. You don't bribe her, <laughs> you bribe her. Yes, true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, you don't. You just give her socks. I will fun. like to say, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank our you for town your, really needs you. And thank you for your yeah, service. Thank you. And, uh, thank you and the fact you. that you're the surfing judge, this is icing on the cake. But your job's not easy. I mean, I, I'm sure there's moments of torment and indecision, but you kick ass and are making our town better. So, and we need people in capes to make this town great. With the gavel. Yeah. And the wig. So, yeah. <laughs> so thank you for that. Oh, well, and thank you for saying that. Everybody is listening. Your shortboard's up. Did you say 5'6"? It's a war coffee. Five eleven. We don't know if it's a war coffee. <laughs> we'll talk to Ward tomorrow about this. Yeah. And Wasn't then he, he said a recently? six. Yeah, just oh, the other day. And a six four is your six. What is your six, six four? Six is four my is your up. step up. Okay. And it, 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 do you have a longboard in there, Quiver? Yeah. 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 Of course, you yeah, have we've a summer cruiser, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's what the dog rides on. Exactly. Yeah. Well, with the dog rides on her her sup her. Okay. Got a sup for the dog. Dogs are taking over the lineup, Neil. Thanks, George. Thank you guys. Coming in the show. It was fun. That was you definitely sure? not what I expected. <laughs> what were you, what I were you, came in on to be all serious. What were you expecting? <laughs> Talk Did she tell you it's a night? Stuff? Did she tell you? By the way, really quickly, can I just mention this? T- tomorrow night, mm-hmm. special off the better show with Tracy Weiss from uh, mm-hmm. O'Neill Sea Odyssey Program mm-hmm. and Dan Hayfley. Dan Hayfley uh, awesome. The environmentalist. We're going to mm-hmm. talk about the mile buoy that they want to take out, mm-hmm. which you have some ideas of. And I, I, do. I can't like, wait. That's going to be a great show. I, I'm very familiar with the mile buoy. It's my friend. I'll miss it. I'm checking this. Right. We should try to get all these people over here and come hey, down. You know why we should keep it? It should be a historical monument in the ocean. That's my opinion. It's it's like the it's surfing mile statue. Buoy. It's, it's like the corner surfing, for the J race. It's like the surfing statue. It's the it's fishing marking point. Hang Everyone on. Who paddles a hold, kayak? Hold, hold it. Hold it. To the, save the mile buoy, the comments have to be in this week, don't they? Uh, we Comments think so. Yeah, we call, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna work on that. We're gonna find out about that. It's like tomorrow. the MDA, the thing with the fishing thing, and now we got the mile buoy, and we got all the. Sh- sh- um, My it's, theory is, it's like, let's can just, you just leave, leave the mile buoy till it breaks and washes up the beach, and then we'll stick leave, it in front of the museum. Can you just leave us? Everyone time. just leave us alone. Is that your political statement for the night? Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, just to be clear, I'm not joining in any of. You're not joining. No, we don't want you. This is not for you. You have been. Yeah. So amazing at keeping your platform so sincere, honest, and unbiased tonight. So Thank I you. appreciate that. That's that's cool. Cool. Yes, uh, that is, uh, I think, any person with hope of judge would have. And so keep the bar high. We like that. Thank you very much. Appreciate the respect. Mm-hmm. I think we were nice. Not that bad. Okay. We were well nice. behaved. <laughs> we were behaved. I probably I think I think your husband texted me already. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah. He did. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow night. Tomorrow Bye, night, six thirty, right here. Second, we'll talk about with Tracy Weiss from Neil Sea Odyssey and Mr. Dan Hayfleet, who's the environmentalist. Mile Bowie. Mile Bowie chat. Good night, everybody.